Talk get hit. The age-old saying that society has based itself upon. But what happens when someone challenges these fundamental rules? Well, nearly 10 years ago in Seattle, Washington, this question was answered. We have to look at an infamous fight between Carly Shay and Shelby Marks. Carly Shay, host of the hit internet web series iCarly, was recording a video as she normally would. Everything was fine, it was a great episode, so they wrapped it up, did some editing, and then posted it. The video did great and everyone seemed to love it, but there was something mentioned in the video that got the attention of one person in particular after a fan edited the clips to make it completely out of context and even seemed somewhat challenging. The person whose attention this video caught was Shelby Marks. The teenage world-class fighting champion, the youngest to ever hold this title in the CFC. How does Shelby react to this situation? Well, like any other rational person would, she finds where she lives and shows up to her front door. You know, rationally. A knock on the door is heard. Carly opens the door and finds herself face to face with Shelby Marks. She immediately screams and runs away. Fortunately for her, Shelby wasn't actually mad. In fact, the reason she showed up was she wanted to do a sort of exhibition match and donate their earnings they made to charity. After explaining this to Carly, she calms down and eventually accepts. After an extremely heated press conference, which results in Shelby's grandmother getting quote-unquote tackled by Carly, her and Shelby's grandmother both fall off the stage. Shelby is now legitimately angry. She tells Carly that this will no longer be a match for show. This is now the real deal. Carly can't take the heat, of course, so she cancels the match. After tons of backlash, she eventually meets up with Shelby and explains that it was completely by accident that she quote-unquote tackled her grandmother. Shelby understands, and they decide to do the match for the greater good to help out the charity for animals. But something happens that changes the course of this fight yet again. Meet Neville Papperman, a passionate enemy of the iCarly show. Neville created an audio deepfake in order to make it look as though Carly tackled Shelby's grandmother on purpose. This absolutely enrages Shelby. And without Carly knowing, she's going to fight Carly for real, yet again. Now that we have the full backstory, let's get into the fight. I'll be joined today by Mike and a fellow YouTuber slash outspoken iCarly stan Cole Adams in actually breaking down the match itself. So, let's get into it, shall we? We're f***ing doing <laughs> Yeah, Shelby is dialed in. Obviously, she's pretty pissed off at Carly. She is uh, mad. Carly still thinks that this is all for fun because they had worked out a deal. Yeah, Carly really taking this nonchalantly. Obviously, she has no clue what is going to happen to her. Now, if, if you see there, she just finally, finally put in her uh, her orange peel. So <laughs> <laughs> there's King Gibby, the hero. King Gibby, <laughs> Gibby. Yeah. Here we are going in the first half of the only one part fight. There's the salute. Yeah, the, what was that? I I a, no bit of, a bit of taunting, which is definitely what you want to yeah, do. This is like not situation. the move here. Giving a couple couple fake punches, doing some uh, some bit of okay, did that oh, hit her? Oh, but haymaker! It did not hit her. Oh, oh that one did. Oh. That one did. Oh, do, do not take out your mouthpiece. Takes out the mouthpiece. Do not after say ow. In the mouth twice. Uh, Neville sitting in the corner having the time of his life. Don't call timeout. This is a bad ref for <laughs> granting a timeout in the middle of an MMA fight. <laughs> he calls a timeout. With the clock running. The of an MMA yeah. Fight. Like, yeah, with the clock still running, as if we're playing soccer. Well, Carly's a little confused because she thought that this was going to be just for charity, no actual <laughs> punches. But Shelby clocked her. Twice, in fact. Uh, she looks I, so I scared right now. Did make connection. Yeah, how do you miss from that distance? Is the still? I can't even get over that. I think I think the first one did connect, but oh, the nice dodge there! Another dodge, and it looks like she's going to be going for a takedown. Except she's not actually not taking her down. Sweeping, she's not sweeping the leg. I think that um, Carly's trying to stall the fight so she can get at. It. Now, what you, what you should do in this situation, Mike, is you should start throwing punches at the person that's just hanging off your leg like a child. But I think she feels bad for her, so she's not really doing anything. Carly throw, putting up a bit of a fight, trying to block off those punches. Okay, I have two questions. One, this looks really easy to get out of, so why isn't Shelby doing that? And what is the, this ref really, in, in boxing, when you tie up, the ref 
stops it. The ref is really letting this go on. I mean, it is MMA, so you can do wrestling stuff, but this isn't really wrestling. Yeah, this is like... She she went to go, like, grab her off for a second, but... I, I, I... This is like if there was no shot clock in basketball and you just held the ball for four quarters. What the hell is this? I don't... I don't even think Shelby knows, obviously. She's I don't... The, I, uh, think, I think that's... I think that's... <laughs> Yeah, I think that's why Shelby's not really doing much here, because she just really has no idea what's going on. This is really like going to work. Did you see the clock? the clock? Two seconds left. <clears throat> well, she survived. That's a positive. I, somehow. Neville doing his... That kid uh, got way too Neville handsy. Things. Oh, that was a yeah, huge fall. Massive and... takedown! Finally <laughs> sweeps the leg. Oh my god. After the bell. Insanity. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Well, that about wraps up this video, so, um, happy April Fool's Day.